Welcome to the overview presentation for the Citrix Synergy Underground project. Our project to do live and recorded video directly from the Citrix Synergy event in Houston. So in this presentation, we're going to answer a, a few questions. Why, who, how, and how many? So the first question is why. Why did we do this in the first place and where did the idea come from? So in the beginning, as with many things that happen at Citrix and other technology com companies, there was a conference call. And on this conference call were several people from Citrix that included me, Vishal, who's uh, the manager in charge of the Citrix Developer Network, and Chris, who both of us report to. So we did this call, um, which was arranged by uh, Dave Tupling on our Microsoft Relationship Team, with Jeff Sandquist. And Jeff Sandquist is the Director of Platform Evangelism at Microsoft. Jeff ultimately is in charge of five community sites at Microsoft, including Channel 9. Now, Channel 9 is a community site targeted directly at developers. And this site is so popular it gets in excess of a million and a half unique views a month. Some other sites have popped up as a result of the popularity of this. So other sites that Jeff has under his uh, domain include Channel 8, which is targeted directly at students, Channel 10, which is targeted at tech enthusiasts. TechNet Edge, which is focused specifically on IT admins. And finally, Microsoft Mix, which is for web developers. So one of the things I like to point out about all of these community sites that Jeff runs is video is featured very prominently on each one of these community sites. And the reason for that, according to Jeff, is they found that video content makes the sites much more interesting and compelling and ultimately much more sticky. People constantly come back because they want this type of content. So that's one of the things that we wanted to do for our project. And a great story that Jeff tells is a few years ago, uh, they decided to send a video team to record video at a, a Microsoft technical conference. And there's a lot of dispute within the company, apparently, over whether or not this would be a successful project or a good idea. But ultimately, over 100,000 people watched those videos. So clearly, that was a huge success. We want some small measure of that success for Synergy Underground, and that's why we put this project together. So who did the project? So Vishal, who I've already mentioned, in charge of the Citrix Developer Network. Uh, Vishal did a lot of video recording at the event. He also ran the Flip Camera Contest for us, where we let customers and partners borrow a Flip camera that we uh, purchase, record their own videos, turn them back in. Vishal's going to upload those all to YouTube and the uh, people who get the most views of their specific videos have the opportunity to win that flip camera. So next is Rich. Rich actually showed up in Houston on the Friday before the event started. Uh, started doing video and taking pictures on Saturday. Did a lot of pre-show work that you see in the lineups on Brightcove. A lot of pre-show work, a lot more videos and pictures during the event itself. So Rich did a great job. Next is Gus. Gus Spent a lot of time building the actual website. Uh, he came up with the uh, proposal to use Twitter for the text feed so we could do live updates from the keynotes with our cell phones. Uh, Gus put the web page in conjunction with Saul Gertis and the web services team at Citrix. Got that page up on community.citrix.com. Um, and Gus embedded in the uh, players for Brightcove and for Mugless. And he also, of course, did quite a bit of video at the event. And finally, my piece... My, fi my primary role at the event was to do live recording video with a Nokia N95 cell phone. And I'm going to dive down into that topic here in just a moment. So ultimately, this is the team that recorded the videos. Many other people at Citrix helped us a great deal with this. But these are the four people who actually took the videos. So let's talk about how I did the live feeds. There was a lot of questions about this. I've had a lot of questions since. So I, I thought it'd be worth it to spend just a few moments to talk about how this actually happened. So the first piece of the puzzle is an approved cell phone. And in this case, that's a Nokia N95 smartphone running the Symbian OS. It's got a video camera built right in. And that gives you the ability to play software from Quick. Quick supports Symbian OS. It's software that runs on your phone and will stream video directly from your phone over either a cellular or a Wi-Fi connection to their site at Quick.com. Brian Thomas and at Citrix and are on the Zen App product marketing team actually turned me on to this idea. And he got the idea originally from Robert Scoble. 
Robert Scoble is a very well-known blogger who, coincidentally, used to be a blogger at Microsoft for Channel 9 and reported directly to Jeff Sandquist. So, Quick.com got the idea from Brian where it'll set this up, stream live video directly to it. Quick is in beta right now, but it's a fantastic service. It's getting very popular. Well, one of the things we wanted to do beyond what Quick offers with this basic service is give you the ability in a small player to see the video live as it stream or have it autoplay videos or pick other videos on demand. Now, Quick does not provide that in the current release, but they do integrate with a service that does, and that service is Mobilius. And you see here on Quick, you go in and edit your profile, you can set it up to stream your videos automatically straight to a channel that we created on Mobilis. So let's take a look at the studio control for Mobilis. So here's the uh, Mobilis Studio. This is a flash based application. It runs in your web browser. You go in here, configure your channel. You can manage your library of content. You see here on the left side there are a number of uh, live shows directly from Quick. You can control live content broadcasted live you can actually have multiple sources of live content that you can queue up change back and forth or move to recorded video you can set up videos to autoplay through the autopilot functionality and you can set up videos to be available on demand so once you go through that you have the ability to set up a channel like you see here the Citrix underground channel on mogulus.com configure it, runs right on their website, or a great thing that Mogulus gives you the ability to do is configure your own player widget. So you have a number of options that you can pick beyond just the look and feel, what features are available within that. Set that up, we are able to go in through the interface, pick the different features that we wanted, get the embed code, and Gus was able to embed that code, paste it right in to the page that he put together. So you see here on the top left where it says Synergy Live Feed, you see the shot of James Milliton, who's the product manager for Insight for Load Testing. We're able to paste that code right in, and we have live streaming video over quick.com and mogulus.com from the event. So that's how the live video worked. So if you'd like to see this and you haven't seen it yet, you can go to community.citrix.com slash underground. So the next question is how many, and specifically, how many videos did we do? So to date, Brightcove, which is where we uploaded the recorded videos, there's 71 posted as of the morning of Tuesday, May 27th on Mogulus. Once again, that's the live TV channel feed that we have on the underground site. About 41 videos. Quick.com actually streamed those videos into Mogulus. There are a total of 118 videos on Quick. And that disparity is due to some technical issues and some videos that we did not automatically stream over. And YouTube, we have uploaded quite a few of the videos to YouTube. I believe the number is about 45 as of right now, and that's specifically because YouTube has the largest audience on the web for a video. So, you add those numbers up, it's a total of 274 videos to date as of, once again, May 27th. Still have more videos to upload, so that number is going to grow. So, ultimately, how many people have viewed these videos? So, total unique views for the videos. So, on the Brightcode service, According to the reporting mechanism within the Brightcove Admin Console, just under 10,000 video, unique video views on Brightcove. The uh, package we put together from Mobilis, just over about 12,000 video views through Mobilis. On Quick, there were some views through Quick because of some of the issues with the integration, so we had about 1,500 views on Quick. And the videos that we uploaded starting on Friday and Saturday on YouTube have already received just under 900 views. So when that adds all up together, it's about 24,000, 25,000 total unique video views. So it's been fantastically popular. A lot of people are watching these videos. It's a very gratifying to see the amount of interest in this content. And ultimately, the reason people are interested is not because we did the videos, but because of the content on the videos, the people and the faces that are on these videos. Citrix employees, customers, partners, resellers, all the people that bring the event and attend the event. So that's ultimately what's interesting about this content is the people that are at the event. So if you'd like to see some videos and you haven't done it yet, please go to community.citrix.com slash underground. Thank you.